case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 2007 case that brought corporate financial misconduct into sharp relief, Adam Journey, a former director and president of ICN Pharmaceuticals, was deemed liable for paying himself and other executives hefty bonuses during a flawed restructuring process. The Delaware Court of Chancery held that the procedure used to determine these bonuses lacked impartiality and was designed merely to rationalize a self-serving outcome determined by the management. The lawsuit brought by Valiant Pharmaceuticals International originated from the problematic determination of bonuses during the corporate restructuring. In the proceedings, Journey's self-interest was exposed. It became evident that instead of influencing an independent and upright bonus distribution process, he had established one that was skewed in his own favor. The lower court decided in favor of Valiant Pharmaceuticals. In its ruling, it ordered Journey to return his $3 million bonus and pay back half of all legal fees and costs. The accumulated costs included employing individual settlement counsel after the trial, which led to a total repayment sum of $1.875 million. Journey did not appeal this decision. The court further granted Vallon Pharmaceuticals' request for prejudgment interest. Given Journey's misuse of company funds due to his executive position, it set the interest rate as 6.25%, compounded monthly, dating back to April 2002. In this case, the Delaware Court of Chancery enforced the principle of fairness and independence in corporate financial decision-making. It underscored the message that executives can't enrich themselves at the expense of companies they are supposed to guide. Adding to this, Valiant Pharmaceuticals International's counsel was ordered to submit an appropriate form of order within the space of a week. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.